Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. With Pat McSherry. All right, what a fish. And Andy Bioka. Wow. Get the colors on this fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm Pat McSherry, and on this week's episode, I'm gonna be meeting up with Jacob Halls with Northwoods Angling, and he's gonna show me the ropes on how to catch sturgeon on the St. Croix River. So right now you're probably wondering, well, where's James? He went up to Leech Lake to get a walleye show and actually got the flu and had to come back early. So he asked me to step in and try and get a show I had been in contact with one of our good friends here at In-Depth Outdoors, Jacob Halls with Northwoods Angling, and these guys are always tracking down big river bites, you know, lake sturgeon, blue cats, alligator gar, you name it. They're always chasing these big fish on the river, and he had told me that they were getting on some good sturgeon on the St. Croix, and I've never caught one through the ice. So that's what we're doing today. It's Jacob Halls and I on the St. Croix River here today on In-Depth Outdoors. Got that big holes. <laughs> so I guess as we're setting up here, I'll give you a breakdown of why we don't use a bar right, like this. Right. I think the biggest thing that people miss when sturgeon fishing is detecting that bite. Because it's you guys do a lot of pan fish, a lot of that. Mm -hmm. I think you'll hone on and in on it pretty quick, but the bite is, I mean, it's like a panfish bite or a, like a bluegill. Mm -hmm. A couple tips on baiting, we're just using night crawlers, fat heads. Um, a lot of people will just string their night crawlers on as one piece. We deal with a lot of mud, mud puppies down here, so what we like to do is we'll take a crawler, if we can get one, string it on the treble hook, pinch it off. String it on the treble hook. <clears throat> Wash, rinse, repeat. Pinch it off. In this way that if you do get those mud puppies, hopefully they're taking one of your baits and not all your baits in one foul so Right. So pretty much as much as you can get on there, we'll put probably two or three fat heads as well. Probably one crawler will do good if you're cutting them up. This is not a clean job. Yeah, that octopus looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> it really is a, like a big boy bait, as much as you can fit on those hooks. And we're setting the hook, so we're actually ripping through those, so I'm not going to have any issue with hooking into the fish. How many of these are you putting on? Uh, as much as you can until it doesn't fit anymore. That is a pile of meat, man. That is a big sturgeon <laughs> bait. And you're just laying these things on the bottom, huh? Right on the bottom, yep. So you built a snowman before, right? Yep. We're gonna make a smaller version of that and I'll show you why. <laughs> so just grab a big chunk of snow. You do your side, I'll do mine. And we're gonna have it about a 45 degree angle of where our rods are going in. And just kind of like a ramp surface. And the reasoning why is we take these little foam bobbers, here's yours, and we modify them. 
So we actually cut off the bottom portion. Mm -hmm. We're gonna actually take it and just put it through the first two eyes and then bring it over to your snowman there. Okay, so you don't even need to stop. You don't need to stop. And it's the best way that we've found that you can create kind of a hair trigger. So tighten it up as much as you can to where that bobber is not falling off your snowman, but still with any light tap, it's gonna come off. And that's, like I said before, one of that the is, biggest. That is hair though. I mean, yeah. you just do anything and it's. Boom, you know. Right. I mean, you could be looking away, you could be looking at your phone, mm -hmm. and you know, because out of the corner of your eye, there's that bobber and it's not on your snowman anymore. <laughs> Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need to hunt down your next big bite. And for a limited time, all Lithium 40 Volt augers come with a spare battery, free. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, Ice Fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, right Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip up fishing. Find iFish Pro online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a star. Oh. <laughs> that's a good mark, that's man. A He's on yours, big too. Mark. <laughs> so now we're just in the waiting game. We just got set up. What have we been set up for? Five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. And we just had two big sturgeons swim through, but... And that is... one's a good sign because that one's right on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think he's feeding. That's what you want to see. Ready? Yeah, buddy. Fish on. Booked up. Fish on, baby. It was real quick. We saw the bobber fall. Yep. We saw the line. It's a smaller one. Why don't you grab the deucer? Yep. He'll come up fairly quick. You can feel it right away. It didn't stop me, but first one, good fish. Yep. Heck, Heck yeah, yeah, man. And these <laughs> tuned up custom rods do a really good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're basically the same ones I use lake trout oh. fishing. I saw him show up on the graph. He might be a little better than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting a little bit bigger. <laughs> Heck yeah. This is kind of what you wait, wait out at night for in the cold. It's negative five degrees yep. outside right now. We're in the shack. We're keeping warm. And that's kind of one of the bigger things that we're going to stress mm -hmm. is that when you do get these fish on the ice, make sure to keep them inside comfortable right they have really big gills and really big eyes so you don't want those to freeze look at that rod bent <laughs> well, yeah. we, we just had one i just had a bite on mine oh look at this i could see him on my graph well, he went all the, the way to the bottom down. yep he's back down there <laughs> oh yeah he's just whew, whew, he wants to get away and that's another big thing when you're fighting these fish they're going to get into the side of the ice mm -hmm. so yep moving your rod around, making sure it's not digging a line into the right. ice to where your, your line's gonna snap. What ends up happening, you know, any big fish that takes a big long run, 
if that line stays in the same spot on the edge of the ice, it'll basically just burn burn a yep. groove into it and then you get stuck and then they can get slack line and That's get sure. off. Yep. <clears throat> and you're going to try to do everything you can to, to land one of these fish because right. there's not much uh, any other fish that you can fight that might get up to 100 pounds oh, through the ice. So I'm excited to see this thing, man. <laughs> All right, I think I'm getting a little bit of movement. Oh, he's, he's a big one. Is he? Yeah, it's a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. You got a long arm? I see him right here. Get that sleeve up. This is this is the point where you could lose a big fish. Just right behind those pectoral fins. Both hands, if you can. It's kind of like a chess match here. All right, here we go. He's coming up. Pectoral fins, not the kills. Yes, yes. Oh, look at that guy. That's a monster. Let me see this thing. Whoa, that's a big old sturgeon. <laughs> Holy cow. That is that's a the huge one we're fish, looking man. for, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it. I mean, get you out here one night. I have to land the fish, I guess. <laughs> I would have much rather had you catch this fish, but I can't complain, that's for sure. Thanks for the awesome landing. You're welcome, and buddy. Unhooking that baby. One more look at her and then we'll get him back real quickly. Look at this, he's gonna fill up pretty much the whole hole. That was your first time ever landing one through the ice? Yeah. What'd you think? It's a challenge, you're I mean, actually, you, it's you, a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. You almost shoulder deep in there. <laughs> so, just make sure to get them in nice and gently, and they'll tell you when they're ready to go. They'll give you that kick, that way you know they're ready to go. Most of the times, it's fairly quick. What do you wanna do? There. And she'll wave bye to you. She'll yeah. wave bye. Wow, what an awesome fish, Pat. <laughs> Heck yeah, thanks for the assist, man. Let's get your baits back down. Let's get another. Let's do it. Oh, I'm just soaked and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. need to get me one of them yes, babies. Yes, you do, sir. Yes, you do. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we make the longest lasting, most dependable enclosed trailers on the road today. By building quality, our competition just can't match. Our all aluminum construction gives you a heavy duty but lightweight trailer that can handle your tough hauls. Aluma trailers are engineered for ease of use with you in mind. All backed by our unbeatable five year warranty. Work or play, get there with Aluma. We're in it for the long haul. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shell found on every Otter shelter. Beginning with the all new XTH hub shelters and the all new lightweight one man XT hideout, on up to the ever popular XT and XT Pro Series shelters that have earned a near legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. Well, we had a pretty hot start and it dried up a little bit. Jake, Jake caught that big one and right when we set up there was fish circling and they were moving around a lot and you could see them down there but yeah. it kind of dried up on us. So we just did a short move, uh, maybe 50, 60 yards and we're going to try it here. Well, while we're waiting for one of those river monsters to come back in, I figured we'd talk a little bit about the upgrade that we've done to these tingler spoons. And this is just a 316 ounce tingler spoon. They come with good hooks, 
but they're meant for a walleye bait. They're not really meant for a 50 60, to 100 70. pound yep. Yep. sturgeon. So all we've done, and Jake told me kind of the, the stuff that they're doing is replacing the split rings with a number four VMC, and then replacing this treble hook out to a spark point number four. I mean, you want to be able to to reef on these fish too, yep. and not get them too tired so that they get back and swim away good. So right, right. That's the upgrade. That's a fish. Ready? Yep. Yep. Fish yep. on. Nice work. Fish on. It's like I, what happened last time. Yeah, I just saw the bobber kind of fly into the hole. Out of the corner of my eye, I was looking through these minnows, and uh, sheesh. It's such an adrenaline rush when these, oh fish, when these fish finally oh do my bite. Gosh. I got it. You know, you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Okay, he got a little bigger. He got a little bigger. <laughs> that bobber tips off, goes into the water, and it's just like, you never know what could be on the end of your Did line. You, you didn't even put your rod back down. No, I was just setting Same it. Same thing happened Same again. Thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yep. I don't know if they're running straight up, No, there's ice, and then they're out of here. Yeah. Because we saw him. We yep. saw him for a second. So. Well, we're... one of the main things that, that Jake told me with with this combination of what we're doing out here is uh, a 20-pound braid. And obviously, we're, we're fishing for fish a lot bigger than 20 pounds, but yep. one of the main things that he said is with this water and this current, the smaller the diameter that you can get away with, the better because it's just going to not let your spoon get carried away quite as far. The line's not getting pulled by the current. Yep. You're letting your bait kind of sit in one area so they can rot, we call it rotor rooting. Mm -hmm. Rotor root around and find your bait. And when they do, hang on tight. He's moving up a little bit. I better get ready. Yeah, last fish, you were about halfway down your arm. <laughs> there he is, nice. I got him. Yes. Heck yeah. Oh, it got a little bigger. Yeah, it's a nice fat guy. Heck there yeah. we Show go. Show that one to the camera. <laughs> oh. Look at that fish. Yep. A lot of the times, this is you'll see this. This what happens. Mm -hmm. They wrap themselves up. They're just a just a dinosaur of a fish that just starts going crazy when they yep. get hooked up. So they get wrapped up right in the lips there. That's no slouch of a fish though no, either. That's I mean, a great fish. Heck I bet yeah. you that's 45, almost 50 inches. Mm -hmm. So, and if you can get in on this, you can see this is what they're doing down on the bottom. They got this big extruding mouth. We're gonna get down in there, and just like that, get it out. Just as easy as that. You can extend this mouth to get a little bit easier mm -hmm. way to get in there. You can see there's still a couple minnows left in there. We're gonna leave it in there for them. <laughs> you can keep it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's cool. We're gonna get this baby back. Yep, let me get this hook out of your way. There you go. All right. Heck yeah. Nice fish. And once again, just to stress, and I know we said it before, it's cold out. Keep these fish in the shack. They uh, they freeze up rather quickly. So that's as you can see, we're getting them back in the water real quick. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, yes. All That's right, fun. get your rod in so you can get a fish. Yeah, all right. That's some sweet stuff. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Looking for the perfect fishing vacation? Leech Lake, Minnesota. There's over 112,000 acres of water to explore with fantastic walleye, bass, pike, panfish, and trophy muskies. The fishing opportunities are endless. Leech Lake has it all with over 30 resorts, lodges, campgrounds, and hotels line its pristine shores. Plan your trip. It's Minnesota's original up north vacation destination. 
Markham's new pocket-sized handheld underwater cameras, the Recon 5 and 5 Plus, use a 5-inch color display to deliver superior screen detail and employ a combination of dark water LED and infrared lighting to punch through the darkness. The Recon 5 Plus adds a built-in DVR and on-screen display for critical information, previously only available on full-sized underwater viewing systems. This winter, see what you've been missing with a Recon from Markham Technologies, the undisputed leader in underwater cameras. Are you kidding me? Yep, yeah, yeah. Well, dude, you are schooling me. That was pretty incredible, <laughs> Pat. I just dropped my bait down right on top of this fish. And I'm sorry that you haven't caught a fish, but <laughs> hey, I man. got the hot stick tonight. And I dropped it right on top of a monster. That looks like a good one, too. Yeah, yep. He marked real big. Mm -hmm. And we saw him come in. I was probably still 10 feet above him. Yep. Dropped it down, set my bobber. And I thought maybe I triggered it myself. But once again, hook sets are free. So, <laughs> woo Jeez. I mean, it's I'm insane, almost at a loss for words, Pat. It's insane. And this, this this happens in the boat. I mean, you got three, four, five rods out. One rod just keeps going and going and going. Mm -hmm. And this time, it's been my rod all night. <laughs> hey, I don't mind. Yeah. You've got a lot more time invested in figuring this out. I'm just glad to be here and share it with you. This is, this is cool stuff. You know, when we're doing battle with these fish, I brought out the lake trout rods that we use, the tuned up custom LTPs. And I was thinking, you know, I'm like, these are big fish. Normally we'd run the Inspira 20s for the lake trout, but I actually got the Helios HSX 30s on there, which gave us a little more line capacity, plus there's a, just a heavier duty reel for bigger yep. fish. Yep. Yeah, no, these, these reels are just doing a phenomenal job. I'm not, I mean, I'm almost close to as tight as we can get, and when I tighten it down, it scares the heck out of me. <laughs> so, I, I have yeah. not moved this fish off the bottom. This is going to be a monster. <laughs> Let's hope we can land yeah. it. I'm excited to see this thing, man. Still haven't got a glimpse of him. <gasps> oh, I got him. He's got a tail grab. I got him. Oh, check this. Check this guy out. <laughs> Heck yeah. That is a monster of a fish. That is a big one. Oh, look at that. Man, they fight you hard too. It's just an incredible fish. Yeah. Wow. They, these fish, I mean, there's no words to describe how hard these fish fight. Yeah. I mean, that went on for 10, Ten minutes? plus minutes yeah. of just bulldogging and running and what that's other a lot fish of fun. Can you get through the ice that is this big and that fights this hard? I don't think there's any other fish. Yeah. Not that <sighs> I've dealt with. <laughs> just like that. What a fish. Prehistoric. Prehistoric. I mean, this fish is probably older than us. So yeah, absolutely. We're going to treat them with some respect. Show them to you guys. Have you guys experience the excitement with us. Right. And uh, get them back in the water. So. All right. See you later, buddy. <laughs> That's a, a heck first of a lot of me. fun. That's a first for me, dropping a bait down right on top of a big sturgeon and catching them through the ice. Thanks right. again for the assist, bud. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, Jake. Time to get out of here, huh? I think so. It's getting it's late. 2 a.m. It's been a great night, but it's time to start packing up. Let's leave these two lines soak. I'll go outside, round up that stuff. Why don't you kind of tidy up in here and we'll do. maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> Fish on! I need help! Fish on! Fish on! Are you kidding me? Here, take the rod! Well, I guess that's what happens. We start to pack up the house, and we get a fish on. <laughs> and when you know it, it's in your hole again. Yeah, I thought it was a mud puppy, and I just kind of pulled it up. You know, it's probably, what is it, 2 in the morning now? Oh, you might have got a little bigger. Two in the morning, we decided, you know what? We've had a lot of fun, we've caught a lot of fish. 
let's pack her in. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, I saw something. We figured, well, we may as well let these lines soak while we're starting to get things organized a little bit. And sure enough, it paid off. You guys are all packing the house. I, I, I had pulled a mud puppy up on your rod. It got tangled in my rod. <laughs> I let it go back to the bottom. And it just started bouncing again. Oh, and... man. He got close to that hole, and he did not like that. Yeah, I saw that. And I thought he was going to be a small one, but... He's putting up a heck of a fight, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, for guys that want to come out here and do this, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, and they'll bite at night. The days are a lot shorter this time of year. You know, there's not a ton of stuff to do in the winter like this at night when it gets dark. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun to do this. He's down at the bottom. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they'll fool you, that's for sure. You know, it's a really basic setup, too, to be able to come out and do this. Really basic. It's almost like you're fishing walleye. Mm -hmm. Just a pack of worms, a couple of fat heads, and you're good to go. <laughs> what do you think for your first sturgeon? <laughs> He's bulldogging yeah, me. Yeah, he is, isn't he? <laughs> He's not what ready a, yet. What a night, though, man. Yeah, I mean... I mean, to catch this many... I see him. I mean, think of how many inches of fish. That's a good fish. No, he's not ready. Yep. Oh, there there we go. Look at that. That's a great fish, Pat. There you go. Well, that was the fun part of my night right Heck there. yeah, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sucker. Great fish. Great fish. <laughs> wow. Man, what a fish. I really appreciate you taking me out here, taking the time to show me the ropes on these sturgeon. I've had a lot of fun. I'm glad to have you anytime, Pat. Heck All yeah, right. nice fish. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's episode. These sturgeon are a blast through the ice. They fight like a ton of bricks. They really bulldog you. And I've never experienced anything like it, pulling a 50 some inch fish through the ice. It's a lot of fun and a lot of adrenaline rush. I want to give Jacob Halls and the guys from Northwoods Angling a big thanks for taking us out, showing us the ropes on how to catch these big fish. And if these big river fish are what you're into, make sure you check them out on YouTube. They got a lot of great content on how to catch sturgeon, alligator gar, catfish, you name it. Big river predators, they got some good content on it. So from everybody here at In-Depth Outdoors, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.